Hello, my name is Alex Isles and welcome to the Windsill here in Northumberland National Park, which forms a part of Hadrian's Wall. Now, I absolutely love talking about the Windsill because of the fact that it's an amazing geological feature. 295 million years ago, during the Carboniferous period, red hot magma forced its way up through the tectonic plates and then cooled. And as it cooled and solidified, it formed the Wynn Stone. Now, Wynn is a Northumbrian, which is a dialect of Northern English, word meaning a hard, dark rock. And here we have the Wynn Stone being formed into the Wynn Sill. And sill is another word for cliff. So this here is the Wynn Sill right here in Northern England. It's an amazing geological feature because it almost forms like a natural cliff face. You can almost imagine a deity or God himself bringing it out of the landscape and forming this wall across the, the northern frontier of what would eventually become the Roman Empire. Now the wind still itself is quite an amazing rock because of the fact that as it cooled it remained under the ground for a long period of time until the Ice Age came. And during the last Ice Age, over around about 100,000 years, cooling and warming and cooling and warming wore down the land like a scouring brush against a, a hard wooden uh, cutting board. And as it wore down the land, you get the natural sort of divots and hills and mountains all over Britain and Europe and other places in the world where you've seen this cooling, freezing, warming, periods over and over again throughout human history and geological history. So because of that, it created this landscape you see here today. And then as the ice retreated between 12,000 and 10,000 um, BC, the land was revealed. And this would have been a landscape that wouldn't be unfamiliar to the Stone Age hunter-gatherers, the European farmers, and then the Celtic Britons, or the ancient Britons as they more properly should be called, who migrated into this country and then started living here. And this landscape was this was could be seen very much like this right the way through till the Romans arrived. And when the Romans arrived, they chose the windsill here as a feature to build Hadrian's Wall on top of. Because you've got a natural wall in itself, so you build your wall on top and it would have had a huge effect on the local Britons because many archaeologists are now looking at Hadrian's Wall and they're finding evidence that it was either painted or plastered or whitewashed. So as you are walking along, you would have a four to six meter high barrier along the top of the windsill, which would have been visible for miles around and people would have come along here and seen land that previously their ancestors could move across, suddenly broken up by this wall and saying, no, no, this isn't an area where you can come through easily anymore. So you really get a sense of how it was transformed and changed. Alongside that as well, windstone has been the foundation for many other things across the northeast of England. And those are things like Lindisfarne Castle. So on the island of Lindisfarne, the castle is built on top of windstone. Bambra Castle, a very famous fortress in northern England, that is also built on windstone. Hadrian's Wall, as I've mentioned, and even though it's not man-made, a wonderful natural feature is the, um, is the waterfall at Barnard Castle called High Force. And so you've got these amazing natural features all over northern Britain that are built into this really hard rock, and you can see why it was utilised. Another funny little fact that is also nice to mention is that this is a sort of a bit of an urban myth that has never been able to be separated from the windstone. And the idea is the word wind doesn't come from the fact that it's a dark, hard stone, which is the, the actual sort of definition of the word, but instead, because it was often quarried to make roads and things like that, it comes from the fact that when you hit it with a pickaxe, the rock would break off and it would make a whin sort of noise. And so this is called wind stone because of that. So there's another little fact that tells you a bit about the windsill, a little bit about here in the northern frontier of Britain on Hadrian's Wall, and also the cleverness of the Roman engineers in choosing this natural formation of rock as a basis, a foundation for their own frontier that would break Britain into two parts. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video, that I've been able to tell you something about Hadrian's Wall, about the windsill and this northern frontier, and you'll join us again for another video soon. Thank you very much and keep well.